Hey there Mustangs, welcome to school for the week of May 7th and the 15th to the last day of the school year. Let's start off the week with the Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Job well done. Let's see what's happening at Westlake this week. This week is Teacher Appreciation Week, and I hope you are thinking of something great to do for your teacher because they work so hard. I have some suggestions for you. Some people like to get flowers. I do not because they die and they're expensive. So I've made some um, alternatives um, to flowers. This is a, um, a fleur pin bouquet. All these flowers um, have a fleur pin on them with a, uh, with a flower there. Teachers will just love this. Um, because they love flare pins and it's, it's in a little pretty container here now you can also make these flower pop things very personalized I just love this one my friend made it it's got some slim gems on these flower petals everybody loves slim gems and then it's got some um, some string cheese right here that's delicious and then around the flower pot it's got some fiber one bars I mean, everybody needs fiber in their life. That's the gift of regularity right here. I think um, any teacher would like something like this. And then I've come up with another idea that I think is going to um, uh, catch on quick. It's a um, flare pin hand corsage. See, I just put it on a, um, uh, on this wrist thing, and then I glued a pretty flower to it, and it's got some flare pins. And so now your teacher can walk around um, with a flare pin flower corsage and say, look how much somebody loves me because they made me a teacher prom um, hand corsage. I hope you'll do something special for your teacher this week for Teacher Appreciation Week. Thanks for the update. It's time once again to recognize a few STEM crazy students of the week. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Curious, Amina Ahmed, Muad Ahmed, and Justin Clausen. The teacher says these three fine students represent Westlake STEM so very well at the state debate tournament. Even when rounds became challenging and a little nerve-wracking, these three never, never gave up. Hats off to you and all the debate team members here at Westlake STEM. Congratulations. Respectful. Jordan Ho. Jordan is polite and kind. He is reliable, does what he is supposed to at all times, talks when appropriate, and is very patient with his cl classmates. Accountable. Tianu Benali. Tianu is always on task and does his best. He really you have to turn pages. <laughs> likes to learn and does what he what needs to be done to be successful. He has been a great team member during our Sage Review M Games and has helped his teammates and other students prepare for the Sage. He is also kind, polite, and respectful. <laughs> Zero quitting. Ashley Chuba. Ashley works hard during class and always asks questions to make sure she understands what she needs to be doing. She works hard to make up any work that she has missed. Thanks, Ashley. Zero quitting. Mariah Valle. Mariah always tries to do her very best. She seeks out teachers and asks how to improve her understanding and her mastery. Mariah is never satisfied to do less than her best. I appreciate your effort, Mariah. Thanks to those students for being STEM crazy. 
Keep it up. Hey there, Mustangs. I am standing next to a few of the great Westlake STEM science teachers. And yeah, I got to hand it to you. You look good. Can you explain, Mr. Dunn, explain to me for just a moment why in the world you look this way? Well, we did a... Um we did the M Games review, and each period, the top, uh, the top class got to choose an article of clothing for the losing two teachers to wear. So, here's what we came up with. You look pretty good, and I understand though, and this is our eighth grade crew here, but each one of you took a, a turn losing, is that right? <laughs> now, not just you, but the classes, which also means there was a lot of winners in that. Um, that is two weeks and even three weeks into our M Games review. Um, the results for the math aren't ready yet. We'll have those featured next week on Mustang Media, um, but we want to leave you from the science teachers with the class winners and the individual team winners for the M Games Science Review Tournament, and... Don't they look good? Thanks, Mustangs. <laughs>
That's it for us. Thanks for watching. This is Mustang Media. I won't let memory loss take away from my junior high experience. That's why I took I bought a yearbook. Ah, ah, ah.